I'm Andrew Armstrong, welcome to the back office. Today I've got to do some car maintenance and that's because my car has blown its turbo up and it's a bit annoying. It put out a couple of coughs of smoke a few weeks ago while I was on the motorway on the tail end of a journey and I really kind of thought no more about it. It uh, basically did a like a you know half a second of James Bond smoke screen action on the motorway and I just sort of shrugged my shoulders and thought okay it's uh that's a glitch um parked it up went away to America for two weeks came back and started the car and again smoke screen I'll show you that now Can't get much worse than that, can you? Yeah, bad, wasn't it? So, what I've got to do now, this weekend, I'm going to open the bonnet and actually pull the turbo out. And the reason I haven't bought a replacement turbo yet is because I want to take the uh, existing one out, diagnose it, check everything is there, what, so that way I can build a big shopping list, basically, of all the parts I need to replace it. Because the last thing you wanna do is pull the stuff out, have a, a lot of the new stuff to go back in and then find that you're missing an engine stud or a gasket or something annoying like that. So uh, let's go open the bonnet and have a look inside. Okay, first thing to do before you start is to actually check the oil level and water level. So to do this, get your cloth, if you haven't done it already, find your dipstick and see where you are. So give it a wipe. You want to take the first reading because you just don't know what's on the stick and then have a look no oil at all so we have been burning some that's fine coolant level is normal in fact i'm so surprised about the oil i'm going to have another go yeah not good at all so what we're gonna do is pick our way through undoing all these bits and pieces so we can get to the actual turbo unit itself. So when you're taking off this bypass pipe, you'll undo a nut down here, and look, there's this bracket here by my thumb. Just be careful not to drop that in there. Okay, so that's the main brackets clear. We still have some pipes and things to sort out in a little while, but we can get to that. that. Just pop those off as you come to them. So this is the air coming into the turbo, clean air. That's the clean air out going to the intercooler. And then this is the exhaust gases coming out of the engine into the turbo. And then the exhaust gas is coming out of the turbo via the Lambda sensor. So what we're doing is we're undoing these four bolts here and these various bits to try to get that unit out. 
clearly the trickiest part looking at it here is going to be these exhaust uh, clamp because there's a bolt underneath that's going to be awkward to get to. We might have to take these fan units out. If we do, let's be careful of touching the radiator. We don't want to damage its grill. Yep, it's a pain. You get like a nano turn every go. Just going to give these a little soak with some penetrating oil and while that's going on. Might as well do these at the same time. So while that's soaking, I'll have a go at getting off the intake side. It's nice to have a kit with plenty of extension bars because you'll need them on something like this. Okay, just so you know, I could put my fingers inside the spindle shaft of the turbo and it is just rattling around loose. Mm, definitely not happy. So just taking the feed to the intercooler out. So you can see that the edge of the blades has contacted the metalwork. So there's going to be a lot of wear and you know possible metal filings have got caught in the engine or gone through the engine. So that's unpleasant to find. But let's um, let's be positive and just hopefully just replacing this will restore the car back to its former glory. Just so you know, by the way, there's only supposed to be marginal amount of side play, you know, virtually nothing, fractions of a millimetre. So certainly not this much. And the thing you really want to look out for, if you pull the shaft up and down, there's quite a lot of movement. There should not be any movement up and down in these shafts. So that is one dead Garrett GT17 turbocharger unit. <laughs> 